In this lesson video, I'm going to continue building upon the application I've worked with so far throughout this section, and we're going to introduce an edit text view to our layout. An edit text is very similar to a text box of other programming languages. And so let's go ahead and begin by locating the edit texts. If you will go to the palette, you'll find a category called text fields. And in the text fields category, you'll find quite a variety of edit text options. If you've read through the lesson text, you'll know that each one of these options is unique to the way that the keyboard is presented on the mobile device, as well as the way that data can be entered into the edit text. So for example, the ABC that's listed here is just a regular plain text. You'll see the first name, last name is a person's name, which will capitalize the first and last name. You'll see password options, an email option, phone numbers, and as I go down through the list, you'll see quite a few other options, such as negative numbers, and decimal numbers. So it is very important for you to select the appropriate edit text for the content you want to make it both convenient for the user as well as appropriate for the content that gets added into it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin by dragging over a person name edit text, which you can see is the second option here. I'm going to drop that below the enter your name. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick change to the ID so I'm going to go ahead and select Edit ID and change this to Edit Text Name. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and look at the code. And I can see that there are several different attributes that are already attributed to this object. So here's the Edit Text. And if I want to make more modifications, I can go ahead and add additional attributes. So I'll go ahead and select after the last attribute here, the input type, which is called Text Person Name. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. If I wanted to change the type of edit text, I could change that right here. And I've got quite a large list of options. In fact, I'll go ahead and just cut that out for now and press the control space bar to show you here are all the options that I have to choose from even in code. So I'm going to go ahead now and just paste that back in there. There we go. And let's go ahead and begin by adding a new attribute. I want to add the hint attribute. And let me just quickly go back over to the graphical layout and show you when I click off of my edit text there is nothing in here that's going to give the user or indicate to the user what they should enter in. So I want to provide some kind of sample for them. That's going to be available through the hint attribute. So Android colon hint equals and then I'm going to go ahead and put in double quotes here and I'm not going to use a string. I'll just go ahead and type this in hard coded but I want to go ahead and enter first and last name. Let's go ahead and go back over to the graphical layout and we'll take a look to see what happened. You'll see when I click off of it I have in a lighter gray color a little hint that says first and last name. Now when the user clicks inside of that text box the first and last name will disappear once they begin typing. So it's just a hint for them. It's not the actual text that will be located in the text box. Let's go ahead and switch back over to the XML and let's additionally add another attribute that will change the size of the text. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Android colon text. I'm going to look for the text size. And I want this to be 25 scalable independent pixels, so SP. also want to point out that you'll see this little tag in here, request focus. Since this is the first edit text on my layout, whenever the user opens the application, I want the cursor blinking automatically in that text box giving the user the ability to type in text without having to select it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that tag already in there. And here's my closing edit text tag. I'm going to switch back over to the graphical layout. And you'll see that the text here is a little larger than what I had here for the enter your name. All right, now I've designed the layout of my Android application. And in the next video, we're going to begin working on the code for these particular objects that I have here on my layout.